All right, folks, there it is. That's my DIY do-it-yourself forced air conveyor dryer. You know, I've seen a couple other attempts of people trying to build one. Uh, unfortunately, we never really got to see them completed or actually working. Uh, you can see mine, it is completed. It is working, it's running now. Uh, there is the heating element that I have used for it. Works out great. I can actually lift it up and take it up out of there if I want to. Um, the whole thing was built on a low budget in mind. You know, I've got approximately $175 into the whole project. I do have a t-shirt on it now. It's going into the oven. You can see the oven is on. And if you watch closely, you can see the shirt move from the forced air. There's my control box. I have three separate controls on it. One for the belt, one for the blower motor, and one for the heating element. My rotisserie drive motor is also inside the box running my uh, drive roller. As far as the belt goes, that is just your regular aluminum screen that you use to rescreen your windows or screen doors at home. Comes in a 25 foot roll, 36 inches wide. Now my belt is only 24 inches wide, so I did cut the, belt, the screen down. I did put some duct tape on the edge, because uh, once you cut that screen, it's going to fray apart on you. The duct tape keeps it together. It is not affected by the heat whatsoever. Uh, as far as the blower motor goes that I have on it, it is a two-speed blower motor. It has a low setting and a high setting. I run it on the low setting and gives me the adequate amount of forced air that I need. Um, I bought that motor at a Habitat for Humanity store for $5. Uh, if anyone's not familiar with Habit Habitat for Humanity, they will go and tear down old homes, salvage out what they can, and resell it, and use the proceeds to build new homes for low-income housing. I do have adjustable gates on it, so they can be raised or lowered, depending on whether you're printing T-shirts or hoodies. As you can see, the T-shirt is now exiting the dryer. I also had uh, heard some comments about not being able to track the belt properly. I can tell you that that belt runs absolutely true and straight. I do not have to worry about the tracking. The belt does not travel fast enough to uh, throw the tracking off. I do have two turnbuckles on the one end, one on each side, mainly just to help with the tensioning to keep the belt tight and also some sort of a tracking with it. You know, as long as you put your belt on straight and while you're seaming it together, um, it'll run true and straight. The oven will reach about 220, 230 degrees inside, which is sufficient for the water-based printing that I do. Um, if I decide to do plastisol printing, I can shut that blower motor off and the oven will get to about 330, 340, 350 degrees inside. You know, the belt's running at about two and a half minutes. So the shirt's in there, two and a half minutes. Supposed to be three minutes, but for water based print printing, it's sufficient. As far as the legs go, they are metal. Again, I bought those at the Habitat for Humanity store. There was two of them there. I bought them for $15. The metal used to build the conveyor. You can get that at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's an electrical conduit section. Uh, it's a 10 foot piece. It's about $15 a piece. The rollers, I have three of them in the center. They are made from electrical conduit piping, an inch and a quarter, uh, with the roller bearings on each end. Works out perfect. The rollers on each end, the drive roller and the opposite end roller, they are made of PVC plumbing pipe. Again, it's an inch and a quarter. They're the exact same dimensions as the electrical conduit piping, so they work out perfect. As far as the heating element, 
This is the heater that I bought. It's a quartz heater. I bought it at a tractor supply store. It was $39.99. They have a different version in there now, uh, a little more expensive, about $55. Um, you can use one of these for a flash drying unit. Uh, the thing will get about 350 to 400 degrees. So if you're going to use it for a flash dryer, you need to leave some adequate amount of space between the heater and your t-shirt. The rotisserie I bought is here. I got that at Lowe's. It was $26. Have a couple other different styles there. Cost, cost a little more. But this one works perfect. I have a sample of the drive roller here as well. There you can see the PVC pipe. The black piece is an expansion plug. Uh, it fits in there great. Uh, it's tight fitting so you have to pound it in with a rubber mallet. Uh, and the rod is the rod that comes with your rotisserie motor. Again, you'll have to tap that in. It's tight, but it provides you with a true and straight running drive roller. Now, you will have to wrap your roll, drive roller with a material of some sort. I picked this up at uh, Harbor Freight. It's a cheap vinyl rubberized material for $9. It's actually used to line the bottoms of your toolbox drawers with, but it just gives something for the belt to grab a hold of and make it spin through the dryer around the con whole conveyor. The box, it does not get hot at all. You can put your hand on it. There's no heat, uh, so it makes that nice. The inside is all lined with Reynolds Wrap heavy-duty aluminum foil, and I've attached it to the inside with some aluminum duct tape, uh, foil tape. I do have a hole cut out here for an exhaust system. I haven't completed that portion of it yet. Still unsure how I'm going to do it. Um, but again, it was built with a low budget in mind. So for you folks that uh, don't have the money or the means to buy an industrial manufactured conveyor dryer, you can consider on building one yourself. It will work. As far as longevity or durability on the dryer, I guess only time will tell. Uh, from a professional business standpoint, I mean, it's probably not the most optimum thing to do, but it will get you through until you can make some money or save some money to actually purchase a professional dryer. But there you have it. It's complete. It's running. I'm happy with it. Thanks. Enjoy. Have a good day.